I, Stephanie Bain, Stephanie Bain, I have a books, 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 I, I, I'm a book addict. There's just so many books. <laughs> Hello everyone. So today's video is going to be my May wrap up. I was going to say something else. I don't know what I was going to say though. Anyway, I read six books this month. Decent, decent, decent. I literally finished the last book on the 31st and I was just like, yes, six books. Thank God, because I didn't read the majority of this month and I will explain to you why in a moment. But let's talk about the first three books I'm going to talk about are the ones I didn't really like this month. The other three are the ones I did like. The first one I read this month was The Devil's Kiss, Devil's Kiss by Sarawat Chala. It's about a girl whose name I already forgot. Bilkis. It's about a girl named Bilky Sangreal where she is a Templar Knight and it's just talking about how she dislikes her father and she doesn't really want to be a Templar Knight and like she doesn't want to fight against like demons and stuff. It had a lot of mortal and uh aspects to it and I was like okay whatever. It was like fun, light, but and like okay but it was very predictable the characters were really flat I didn't like the characters I didn't care what happened to the characters I skim read the last like half of the book where I read it and I know what happens obviously but I'm just like eh, I didn't really care I gave it a two out of five stars then I decided to finish the monsters corner which is a collection of short stories edited by Christopher Golden um it wasn't what I was expecting some I liked I liked very little of the stories like maybe five of them were really good the rest were just like boring I understand that the monsters don't aren't necessarily like monsters like these types of monsters they don't look like them or whatnot but I was definitely expecting like actual monsters and some of these were just like well that was boring I don't really care you know my favorite one was about Frankenstein's like creation like Frankenstein's creation uh in World War II Germany it was pretty awesome and I actually just really loved that story but the rest of them I was like don't care I also gave this a two out of five stars it's TTYL by Lauren Miracle I enjoyed this book it was cutesy it was kind of funny um two of the characters really got on my nerves though and it's just about a group of girls three girls uh one is Zoe Angela and Maddie Maddie and um Angela really got on my nerves out of the three but um the whole book is in like I aming formats which I thought was pretty cool I thought it was interesting but I will be willing to read the other two books I definitely would I think I gave this a two or a three out of five stars but it's just about these three girls in their sophomore year of school and like the challenges they face. I'm pretty sure as they get older in the next two books, there's probably more serious topics they come across. But don't get me wrong, I actually really enjoyed it. It was really funny um, and it kept me wanting to keep reading it. But those two girls, Maddie and like, oh my god, annoying. Now let's get on to the books that I really did enjoy this month. I read Beautiful Redemption this month. Um, this was the last book I read this month. Uh, it was the conclusion, it is the conclusion to the Caster Chronicles by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Obviously, I can't really tell you what it's about for spoiler purposes, but I gotta say, I really enjoyed it. I, I had a lot of fun with it, and I liked Lena in this book a lot more than I've liked her in any of the other ones. Because it's like, I like her in the first book, she's okay. Really disliked her in the second and third book, but I liked her again in the last book. I'm happy with how it wrapped up. Um, I love Ethan and just everything. I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars, but I really did enjoy it and I'm happy I finally finished it and I could put it with the rest of the books. I actually like this series. It's not like, oh my god, a great series. No, I just like, like it. It's good. I really like the first and second books and now this one. Then I finally read a book I've been needing to read for like my whole life. Okay, obviously, I'm much older than the book. But anyway, I finally read Percy Jackson, The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. And, uh, oh my god. So, story is, I was in a book hangover after I read uh, Dragonfly and Amber at the beginning of this month. Okay, because I had finished Dragonfly and Amber in April. And then Mar March, May rolled around and I was like, oh, I'm kind of like bookish, slumpy, book hangover-y, don't know what to pick up. So 
you know, whatever. I picked up the Bone Season, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. Loved it, and then that got me in a book hangover. And then I kept picking up books and putting down books. And then I read this one, and it got me out of my book hangover, and I'm just so thankful for it. I mean, I'm still kind of, I'm not going to lie, in a book hangover, but whatevs, I'm getting out of it. But this book was so good, so much fun. I love Percy. I love all the characters. I love everything that happens. I really just enjoyed it. Oh, I can't wait to read the second book. So, yeah. Four out of five stars. The last book I have to talk about is The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. Um, I have a bookish, reviewish, talkish thing that I filmed. I'll link that down below if you haven't seen it. But I freaking loved loved this book oh uh i can't wait to get the second book the mime order all i have to say is i've never read a book like this i know a lot of people compare it to the grisha trilogy lee bardugo i think that's the author's name of that series i don't even know i know they compare it to a couple of other series but i haven't read those series they com compared it to so to me this book was just epicness and amazingness I love everything that happens in this book I love Paige I love Warden I love the world I love how everything's explained the writing style remind me a lot of Pierce Brown's writing style which kind of made me love it even more and by that I mean in the process in which they explain things to you you're gonna get you know a quite a bit of info dumping in the beginning and as you go it's like info dump keep reading info dump it's amazing. I just like it like that. I don't like it when everything, everything is all at once. Uh, the cool thing is there's a glossary in the back of this book. So if you kind of don't know what the lingo is, you can just go look it up. But anyway, this is about a girl named Paige who is like, like a, not a psychic, but what's the name for, hold on, I already forgot the name that they called them. Da -da 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 she's a dream walker I know that but what is the name oh clairvoyant she's clairvoyant and she's a dream walker and things happen she gets captured and I just want you to go into this not knowing a whole lot I really freaking adored this book everything about it I gave it a five out of five stars and again I've only read five books so I mean I know I already did a haul but I couldn't find the second book to this so when I read those 20 books I was talking about, which five are down, I just need to read. No, sorry. I've read six books. I'm on my seventh. Once I read those 13, I'm just going to buy the sequel to this and then no more buying books for a while because I'm actually very happy with the books I have. But I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. And it's going on my favorite shelf. So that is my wrap up for me. I am going to go film my TBR right now. And again, you guys know either I uploaded it uploaded it either I will upload it the same day or I will just upload it tomorrow but there is my slightly latest wrap up and I'll see you guys in, in my next video bye